In 2019, the acoustic guitar market is more diverse than it's ever been, so defining the qualities of the best acoustic guitar is a tough but pleasant challenge. There are not just more acoustic guitar brands, manufacturers, countries of origin, purposes, and model iterations than ever before. Across the last decade, we've also seen a quantum leap in the quality of instruments being produced at lower price points. In short, the acoustic guitar market has never been more competitive, which is fantastic news for us buyers. The selection you'll see below represents a broad cross-section of the industry, offering a collection of acoustic guitars that range from flawlessly executed high-end investment pieces to modern classics and affordable off-the-shelf mass production models that punch way about their weight. Number 1. Martin D28 – Reimagined for 2017 Many consider the D28 to be the ultimate expression of the dreadnought form. Reimagining such a guitar could be a poison chalice. Fortunately, you can still feel the gravity of that 184 years of history in its high-end guitars. The latest D28 features forward-shifted bracing, a wider nut, and vintage-style aesthetic changes. But it's the new neck design that really makes it the most comfortable and accessible dreadnought playing experience we can remember for some time. The sound is balanced and maintains the very definition of an all-arounder. Notes ring out with sustain, that clear piano-like definition we love from Nazareth's Craftsman. Harmonics come easy, and with strumming, the high mids and treble have choral qualities that don't overshadow the lower mids. Despite the tweaks, our test model still largely felt like the acoustic equivalent of Leo Fender's Stratocaster design. Just as that outline is most synonymous with electrical guitar, so the D28 continues to embody the dreadnought in look and sound. Number 2. Taylor Builders Edition V-Class K14CE The Builders Edition V-Class K14CE is one of our four new 2018 V-Class launches that also includes the K24CE, 914CE, and PS14C. It is a bold statement of intent by Taylor, combining the new V-bracing with a notably different, more comfortable Grand Auditorium style. Of course, its build quality is nothing short of exceptional, as we'd expect, not least at this price. We're also reminded of the K14CE's high-end lineage. However, by the Poa Springvine inlay that lies down the majority of the black dark brown ebony board, while a lighter Koa purfling stripe sits just inside the ebony-edged binding and continues around the headstock, which is again ebony-faced with a relatively demure POA inlay. The aged gold Goto tuners perfectly fit in with a slightly worn-in vibe. Hugely understated class. Just like the green abalone dots and the ebony bridge pins. While there's plenty for those who love details to admire, the modern Taylor guitar is hugely sorted in terms of playing feel. V-Class Builder's Edition get used to those terms, Taylor has upped the ante considerably. Number 3. Yamaha A5R ARE There is a traditional gap between how we enjoy the sound of our guitars and the way they're represented plugged in. Enter Yamaha, a leader in stage-ready acoustic technology for decades, and in the A5R ARE, it may have just offered us a very desirable solution. The A5R's rounded fretboard edges offer an enjoyable playing experience that mimics the feeling of guitars that have been played in to a degree, and it has an ethereal quality in the high ranges, even though some treble resonance is traded with the lower action. The A5's resonance and bright balance is a fine showcase for the clever SRT2 preamp. We actually couldn't dial in a bad sound on it because the treble and bass controls mirror the natural subtlety of the pickup mic dynamic design. An electro experience that captures the sound of an unplugged acoustic? The SRT2 is one of the closest things to get there yet. An update that marks the A series as an essential consideration for players who rely on a constant and controllable stage sound. Number 4. Guild Traditional D55 The D55 is Guild's dreadnought, very similar in shape to the all-conquering 14-fret Martin on which it's based. However, 
If you're used to a handful of the neck, the D55 Dreadnought makes for quite the contrast. A gloss neck and slimmer nut accentuating the neck's overall thinness. More a D than a C profile to invite comfortable first position cords aided by an impressively low action. The Adirondack bracing is doing its job too because string separation, definition, and dynamic range are all notable and it feels loud, alive, and resonant when playing soft or hard. If this guitar is anything to go by, the latest traditional models are absolutely up there with the other big American names, offering superb quality craftsmanship and world-class tone. The D55 is a potentially serious workhorse that has every likelihood of outlasting and outperforming any one of us as long as we can keep on picking. A sumptuous strummer. Number 5. Fender CD60S All Mahogany the entry model of the classic design series is a good reminder of just how much guitar you can get for your money at the more affordable end of the market. We've come so far since the days of high action, poor tuning stability, and shoddy construction that used to mark our lower priced models. Instead, we're offering a solid wood mahogany top, laminated mahogany back and sides, and an inviting rolled fretboard edge. The CD60S intonation is great out of the box too though not too low to make us wary of alternate tunings. The mid-character of the mahogany is certainly here, bringing some meat to the brightness usually associated with spruce tops. Remember what we said about no hard and fast rules with tone woods. The result is something that's genuinely inspiring to play and chimes and chord work. Why should new players settle for just okay when they need to be comfortable and inspired? And there's no reason why this dreadnought wouldn't be a good addition for anyone else too. Number 6. Gibson Montana Hummingbird From top to bottom, this hummingbird creates a buzz. Whatever your preference in size, color, tone, and playing style, it's difficult to avoid picking this cherry sunburst up. It's such a simple guitar to play that it's rare to ever feel like you're incapable of striking the right chord, especially on a neck that's just 12 inches in radius. While the traditionally ornate decoration and blushing finish have been lovingly retained, this modern Montana incarnation offers a discreet LR Bags Element VTC system for plug-in power. It is unlike many we've seen and produces one of the best sounds we've heard from an electric acoustic. Throw in the pleasure of playing such a superb guitar and it's tough to say anything bad about the Gibson Montana Hummingbird Cherry Sunburst. Number 7. Martin D15M Burst This D15M Dreadnought features a solid, genuine South American mahogany top over A-frame X bracing. The same material is used for the back, sides, and neck. The neck profile is a modified low oval and it's hard to imagine anyone having a problem with it. Bone nut and saddle, check. Vintage style open gear tuners, check. Super thin matte nitrocellulose finish all over check. Tonally, there is a rich and projecting core sound that's complemented by the unmistakable Martin D resonance. It's vibrant and ebullient, yet not too brash, warm and full without being thick or indistinct. It puts every single cent of its build budget into making the best sounding and playing instrument with very little concession to cosmetics, electronics, or anything else. Solid woods, improved neck joint, bone nut and saddle, no frills whatsoever save for the burst top. It's reservedly recommended. Number 8. Taylor GS Mini The Mexican-made Mini is equally functional as both a travel-size acoustic and modern-day parlor guitar. Despite its small footprint, the GS Mini is no toy instrument. There's a solid Sitka spruce top, a faultless build quality, and the setup is immaculate. Rather like a good parlor-sized guitar, the GS Mini outputs a sound that belies its compactness. We lay a considerable sum to suggest it be a fine recording guitar. That tight low end giving space to a bass guitar or bassier six-string, while the mids aren't overly honky, as some parlors can be. And the silky, sparkly highs are pure Taylor fidelity. Far from a gimmick, this is a guitar with its own vibe and voice, and both are very appealing.
Number 9. Art & Luthery Roadhouse Tennessee Red Made by Art & Luthery, a sub-brand of Godin guitars, known mostly for its electric guitars, this parlor model cuts straight to the chase. It's clean, it's earthy, it's got a tag, and its design takes you back in time to the rural deep south where all you might have needed were the clothes on your back and this instrument for company. Playing this Roadhouse Tennessee Red is an absolute joy. The middle and upper ranges of the guitar are very strong. When we try some alternate tuning, dropping the bottom E to a D opens up the bass to no end. Blues and country come to the fore. There's clarity too, combined with an understated, subtle warmth. A pocket-sized bag of country rock and roll, compact and ready to go at a moment's notice. Number 10, Collings CJ35. There's no doubt about it, the CJ35 is utterly breathtaking. Every angle, every edge camphor, and detail is executed with a kind of meticulous precision rarely seen in guitar making at any level. The specs might look simple on paper, but the tiny details delight. For example, the perfect walnut strip down the center of the mahogany back. The unfussy yet charming body binding and rosette and the cut through bone saddle that extends into the shoulders of the unfussy rosewood bridge. It weighs next to nothing and you can feel the thing vibrating the second you take it from the case. The quality of build, not to mention the precision and depth of the CJ35's tone are second to none. A scarily good once in a lifetime guitar for a very lucky few. Number 11. Sigma SDM-15 In a timeless classic dreadnought design, it appears to offer something to satisfy the needs of many a blues, folk, or bluegrass picker or strummer. Open chords and first position licks fall deftly under the fingers, while moving up the neck for bar chords and other musings require no huge effort. The compensated bone saddle means intonation is as good as it gets on an acoustic. Whether it's used as a basher of chords for the odd solo or with a capo for finger-picked accompaniments, the SD-15 passes muster on all counts. While it doesn't exactly brim with sophistication, it's a wholesome voice that matches the guitar's appearance, earthy, rich, and dark. Should you be looking for a bluesy belter or general all-around acoustic, then the SDM-15 is the no-brainer of all no-brainers. Number 12, Yamaha NTX700C, a modern hybrid that has nylon strings but feels and looks more like a steel string, the NTX has a narrower neck than a classical, a radius board and 14 frets to the body. There's no sound hole rosette, just some arty marquetry style decoration, and the sound hole is oval. Construction is crisp and faultless. The neck is wider than your average steel string, of course, but it is very easy to get used to. Plus, unlike a classical guitar, we get side dot position markers and two strap buttons. From its balanced acoustic sound, quite subdued in terms of volume, to its amplified tone, Yamaha really has got this right. Plugged in, there's a natural sound with no piezo quack, which records well into your DAW. It loves modern effects too, and hey, you want to play it with a pick like Rodrigo, who uses a custom-made version of this very guitar, be our guest. Number 13, Martin Dreadnought Jr. Unlike Martin's own X-Series, or indeed the minimalist cool of Taylor's Big Baby, the Dread Jr. might be downsized, but it's very grown up and built. With all solid wood construction, proper mortise and tenon neck joint, a bound top edge, and simple sound hole rings, it may not have the huge depth or width, harmonically speaking, of the full-size dreadnought, but there's a punchy mid-range and a slightly textured edge. It retains a Martin stamp, classic, old school, and a fine picker's choice too. Simply put, it's a cracking guitar, far from the guitar-shaped object. For serious younger players, it's a great entry into Martin's heritage, but the more compact size means that many a more mature player will enjoy it too. Number 14, Yamaha SLG 200S, Silent Guitar. An electroacoustic guitar that barely has any acoustic volume. But put a set of headphones on and you'll hear your playing with a studio quality acoustic sound and posh effects. Oh, and you can plug in your MP3 player too. 
What's more, plug this so-called silent guitar into a PA or acoustic amp and you have a highly realistic electroacoustic sound without any feedback. The solid mahogany center block and maple laminate frame might raise some eyebrows, but the neck is quite normal. A mainstream feeling handful that typically is beautiful fretting and plays really well. Like any other Yamaha acoustic really. Live, expect to see jaws drop because your audience won't believe what they're hearing from such an infeasible looking instrument.